Um, first, I'm gonna apologize. You could probably hear the fountain going off. It's pretty dang loud. Um, basically, um, the best lighting I have right now is outside, and there's a water fountain like right over there. So, anyway, um, I wanted to get this video up, so that's why I didn't film inside. Um, I'm gonna be leaving the house soon, and I didn't want to um, take up more time, and the sun's not out enough for me to film inside. Anyway, long story short, that was over with. This is my Sephora haul and recommendations. I might go back and get a little more, try to hold off on that, but anyway, um, I'm gonna show you what I got. First, I'm gonna start off with the more basic things that I just felt like I needed to pick up. So the first three things I got were just refills. Um, I got the Urban Decay All Nighter Long Lasting Makeup Setting Spray. I love this stuff. This is my favorite um, makeup setting spray. It is just, honestly, just amazing. So that's why I got that. If you haven't tried it, I recommend picking it up in the sale, even if you pick up the little travel size. Um, you know, the cost efficiency of picking up a travel size doesn't really make too much sense, in my opinion, unless you're going to be using it for travel. But, um, you know, sometimes if you just want to try it out for a little bit cheaper, that's the better option, but I got the full size. The next thing I wanted to try out, because I had um, kind of played with it before, I was doing makeup on one of my friends, and she had um, the Becca Foundation. It's the Ultimate Coverage Complexion Cream, and mine is in Buttercup. It looks like this. Let me open it up. It's really pretty packaging. It has like that little Becca, um, you know, like kind of brushed silver look and matte brown packaging. Um, I don't really like matte packaging because it gets dirty so, so quickly, but um, I'm wearing that foundation today and I found that I pretty much like it. It's probably gonna be for days where my complexion has more like, not errors, but like blemishes and whatnot because it is a very, very heavy foundation. Um, I could see myself wearing it more so in the winter because um, over here it's really, really hot in Arizona and I don't want my makeup to be melting off my face, so yeah. And I also wanted to try the Naked um, Urban Decay Skin Concealer. Right now I'm using Tarte Shape Tape and I really like it. But I just wanted to try something else because I'm getting low on mine. And Sephora doesn't sell Shape Tape, otherwise I would have gone on Shape Tape. Um, it looks like this. Um, when I worked at Ulta um, years and years ago, um, I did um, kind of experiment with um, this one and it was decent. I just don't know if it was like the best. Okay, so now I'm going to get into two sets that I picked up. Um, I picked up several sets, but um, these two are the sets that I definitely, definitely recommend if you want to try these products because they have multiple, they have a full size product. In them. Anyway, um, the first one I got was the It Treat Your, Treat Your Skin with It's Best Sellers, and it's a new limited edition collection. It comes with the full size of Confidence in a Cream. It comes with the mascara, which I'm not. Mm, I don't really like sets that come with mascara, but at the same time, it was free. Um, the Bye Bye Under Eye in a smaller version, and the Bye Bye Makeup. I've never tried the Bye Bye Makeup. I like the Bye Bye Under Eye. I love Confidence in a Cream, and I was out. And like I said, I don't really like mascaras, but the fact that this comes with a full-size Confidence in a Cream, I think this one this one retails for $48. The Confidence in a Cream retails for $48. So if you've ever wanted to try the Confidence in a Cream, this is an amazing, amazing value because you're getting everything else for free. I mean, granted, they are just like jumbo samples essentially, but at the same time, I mean, I don't know, they're not that small. I just think it is worth it in general. Another set that was very, very similar is has to do with skincare. Um, I do think that the Sephora the VIB sale or um, whatever, um, just beauty insider sale, is amazing for people that wanna try Sephora's skincare lines because you get a discount and that's unheard of besides they have their spring one as well. Um, I think that skincare is something you should focus on because a lot of the times palettes, um, lip stuff and whatever, um, just your everyday average stuff, unless you wanna try something, I don't know. I think skincare is your best bet for trying out stuff on the Sephora set. Anyway, um, this is the other set that I got that I'm really, really excited about. This is the Tata Harper Glow For It Exfoliate and Hydrate for Instant Radiance Set. So I've used this resurfacing mask before. I'm not done with mine yet, but I do really, really, really enjoy it. And it comes with a full size. This set retails for $60. This retails for $58. And then you get two other products that are pretty big. So I think that's a pretty good deal. 
gold edition. I just think this is such a beautiful palette. I had not experienced her shadows. Um, it looks like that. Let me open it. It looks like this. Um, I used this this morning and that's what I'm wearing on my eyes and I thought it was just totally gorgeous. I got the rose gold textured edition. I wanted the dusk or whatever palette that just came out and that's what I meant to buy. Um, but I didn't so I might go back and get that one um, I didn't see it in the store but it said online that they had it in my store so I'm going to either purchase it online or just get it elsewhere but I just think that's a beautiful palette and again um, this sale is really just about finding stuff to try out and what brings me to my last thing which I feel like is my most exciting thing it is the Sephora favorites give me more lip lip wardrobe it comes one, two, three, four, five full-size products. It retails for $68, and it says that's a $254 value. Um, I'm not sure how accurate that is, but I think with five full-size products for $68, you're getting your money's worth. You are getting um, really, really big products of mostly everything, in case you couldn't tell. See, this one's full-size, this one's full-size, this one's full-size, this one's full-size, and this one's full-size. Um, and they are all very, very wearable colors. Um, there's a lot of nudes. I'm wearing one right now. I'm wearing the Huda Beauty one. Um, it is in Bombshell. Um, they're mostly nudes colors, but there's actually some, actually there's not all nudes. There, there's a very good mixture of pops of color and nudes. So I think that's just an excellent value for your money. And this is my favorite thing that I purchased. Anyway, like I said, um, the Sephora VIB sale is really about whatever you want to get for yourself. If you want to just get your essentials and restock on them, which I did, um, I also tried some skincare and I um, purchased some of the value sets. Sometimes the value sets aren't really worth it, to, in my opinion, but sometimes they really are. Like I really enjoy also the perfume sets I would recommend because even though all you're getting is that little tiny vial, at the end of the day you get to pick a larger size vial and it makes it worth your money. So, yeah. Anyways, those are my shopping tips. I recommend going early. Um, that's why I'm going to post this video today, and I recommend getting all your shopping done right away. That way you can. If the sale runs through the 15th, if you're a Beauty Insider or VIB, check your emails for the codes. And yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed my little VIB, um, not VIB, Sephora Beauty Insider sale tips, tricks, haul. Please comment, please rate, and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye, y'all.